Hello YouTube, this is Rondog Silver. Um I am gonna do not an update right now, um not a uh, anything like that. But I am gonna be doing some reviews and this is gonna be actually um just a manga review. Um I'm gonna be doing it on the two that I got in yesterday but um yeah and I, uh, there if you remember this I'm trying to figure out how I can fix this I have no idea why they sent me number four instead of number seven of the series I had checked to make to just to make sure even though I had done it before I had bots in it but yeah it I was supposed to get number seven. They gave me number four, so I'm trying to figure that all out. Um, but I mean, some things like that happen. I was just, I was just angry about that because I've been waiting for 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 quite some time, and because I don't have number seven, as you can see up there, all I need is seven and eight. Because I don't have seven, I basically had to skip seven and eight, uh, skip those readings, and I just started reading this number nine. So, with having that said, I was yesterday in a pretty bad mood, but I was able to finish these after I got through that little problem there and I actually have a lot of things to say about these two first off I'll go with one that I think it'll take me a little less time easier is Phantom volume 1 and volume 2 this as I had thought was Mac I was pretty sure it was going to be Mac um, I think it's funny how they show up here the price in US Canadian and then in UK so they're doing it all in pounds and dollars and stuff so I thought that was kinda of funny just a little thing there but um it was actually I really liked this uh, uh, this, this manga it was kind of it was very Gundamish and there was actually what was funny is that there was actually if I could find Gundam references and uh, this is good if you like references to other animes because it's kind of like an otaku kind of a thing like this guy's sort of otaku-ish because he's talking about oh I like it oh I must be watching too much anime and stuff and he's like really confused as to why he is as good as he is at certain times when his life is on the line he'll get super super fast and uh, be able to use his mech the way he, the way a pro basically would be, and he's considered an amateur. Um, but um, yeah. Anyways, um, it is basically pretty typical of a mech. Basically, a guy. Basically, he's inside a mech. He almost dies. He basically he's learning how to use it, and he is uh, basically going against other mechs. So yeah, other robots. Um. So that's basically all of it. Um. And uh, they're they're really like there really isn't too much. Um, more to say about that like in here like I'm a new type there's kind of a reference there to, to new type um, like here we go like the little description don't know if you could read it I'll just say it right now new type basically they say new type is genetically engineered superhuman to have ex extrasensory abilities at least according to Gundam and then he's like, man, I've been watching too much anime. So there are references 
in this series, at least at the time, to Gundam, which is a Mac series. So there is that. So I don't know if you like uh, references like that, then okay. If you're looking for something different, then don't get the series, I guess. But it was it was fairly well done, and the artwork was very nice. Next one I'll do is the Drifting Classroom. This, as I had said, was a horror. I already kind of knew because of the back I'd shown. Um, they have the little color change there. Don't know if I mentioned that before. I think I did. And then those are the two covers, which are basically their parts of the panels of the uh, inside the manga. Now, this is actually... I was correct on how uh, it being basically gruesome. This is like in the middle of the series. There's 11 volumes, I believe. For the Phantom one, so far I know it's five volumes, but there is actually not that much evidence about Phantom, so I'm thinking that it's very pop. Uh, um, it's it's not very popular. I only found volume four being sold online and on Amazon. So it might be rare, but from what I know, not a lot of people um, know about that one, I guess. Or if they do, they don't put it online. However, with this one, this one is more popular, and I still don't know why that is there. I'm thinking it's because uh, it's a Viz Signature Edition, but anyways... Let's get to the manga. The manga, um, well, I'll just break it up to you. Basically, he is, as you see, there's a whole bunch of insects and stuff coming. They're basically, they're getting eaten alive by some kind of insect, which, this is, uh, this is where it leaves off. This is like the first page, and they're already getting eaten by insects. Then, on the seventh page, a girl gets trampled and killed, and then she gets covered up by the by the dust of the sand, because a lot of this area, besides the actual school, everything else is like sand, because it's like, they're in the future, they're in the future, and uh, I guess everything becomes a wasteland. And the only place that they have left is a is the school. And this is like all kids in like sixth, seventh grade. These are like middle school kids, with the exception of this little kid that is like I think he says he's like should be in third. He's in third grade or should be in third grade. I don't understand why he's in there. That's probably be, I don't understand probably because I haven't read the whole. The whole um, one through four volumes, but it's this was this is if you like horror, it's a pretty good horror. Yeah, see they're like they're getting chased by bugs and things, and then there there's a kid that always I, I don't know why, but he always wants to kill everyone. Well, not kill everyone, but he's like, oh, we should sacrifice this guy, sacrifice this guy, eat this person, and he he has some problems, obviously. But then there's this guy that he basically, the guy that I'm talking about, which is right there, um, basically he is um, telling the guy just, uh, Ot Otomo, he wants Nakata to kill himself because he thinks that he's that this is all from his imagination and that if he kills himself all the bugs will be dead and then he sees uh, I think his sister and and then when he sees all the bugs there he's like panicking and he's thinking okay maybe he's he's a and maybe that that guy is telling the truth maybe I am creating this world so he's like I want the world to go back I'll, I'll even kill myself just just to give myself up for his sister 
So he basically he he gets this like tomahawk thing and he basically hits himself and he kills himself. He is knocked out cold and there and he, he gets he actually dies loss of blood and or actually it might have been uh because it he hit his head pretty hard it might have been just because of brain he hit his head really hard or brain damage or something they that's not really explained too well but he dies and then this guy's like okay let's be friends now and because uh, they were arguing before on whether uh, they should kill certain people just so then the other people can live eventually they decided okay we're gonna we're gonna try to have everyone keep everyone alive and then after that they go back to the school they're like oh this is our house now because we have no other home and they're like oh, I'm home and then they're all crying and stuff and then basically guy falls in the pool gets basically um like uh the plague and stuff like that that everyone's getting the plague and then they so everyone's about to die then somehow then they ma magically get medicine from the past which is actually the present time through this guy that they found out ha who dies who gets stabbed in the present time so the they put like they put like the medicine in the body and while that's all happening there's a fight breaking out between the two uh, the the two sides of students because people are like oh we we got to we got to burn everyone because of the plague they might have been infected so there becomes a whole big war easily half of this half of the class that was there half of the people basically that was alive at the point of this volume have died and uh, the, the uh, it, so everyone basically ends up getting the plague the mom he basically I don't understand this about he's able to talk to the mom through the a TV and um, then the mom somehow knows to put the put it in some guy's body and it actually is like it it transfers the medicine to the inside of the body to the future time of where the kids are at so it helps them so they don't have the plague anymore and then I, I got to show this one part which is right next they're getting all thirsty and stuff because they ran out of water then all of a sudden they get all this water and they're all happy and then what is what is it is just nasty and disgusting and I don't even know why the person was thinking this she's like there's this little girl who's like oh it's a no because they find out it's a flash flood. it's gonna be a flash flood she's like oh I gotta save the plant so she la she links her arms inside the gate so she will not move and then all these girls are like don't do it don't do it and then they're like uh, because they find out that she's gonna be stubborn they're like okay fine well I'll do it which I don't know why they want to do it and then the flood comes and then you see like this little girl's head popping out and uh, then like arms are ripping off and stuff it is just that part's pretty nasty and then uh, the volume ends there of that of the sixth volume so that's all that I have but I I'll have to say this if you want a horror manga and you haven't read this or or even heard about this I would recommend getting it um, now if you're planning on buying it online um, I could check right now but online it is uh now nah, won't but online it's about seven or so bucks so it is rather expensive so there's that so those are basically the reviews I have for mangas and uh, like, subscribe, leave comments, and thanks for watching this video. Bye.